What is up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I wanna talk about the difference between silver stacking and silver collecting. Let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. If you are new to my channel, definitely consider subscribing for more awesome silver related content. This video is on the difference between silver stacking and silver collecting. Now, if you've never bought silver before, if you've got no idea what I'm talking about, silver stacking is when you buy silver as either a hedge against inflation or you buy silver uh, and you look at it as an investment and you have uh, thoughts of selling that silver down the road. Uh, you can sell it in a time of need. You can sell it um, during a SHTF stuff hitting the fan. Uh, scenario and there's you know different benefits to stacking silver the main benefit is hedge against inflation so you don't have your money stored in fiat currency which we as as we know hyperinflates and inflates and you can lose a lot of purchasing power so you store your money in silver now silver stacking is what I talk about a lot here on my channel I've got tons of videos on silver stacking how to buy what to buy uh, etc. Um, but I don't really talk about silver collecting too much. Now, I personally do collect silver. I view myself as a silver stacker and a silver collector. And I've got a ton of different stuff out here. In fact, I had so much stuff, I had to bring my camera up and you can see the little corner of my tripod right here um, just to fit all this in the screen. And I've got more than just this, but I wanted to at least show uh, these pieces here. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about silver collecting. Now, when you're collecting silver, you can buy whatever you like. It's a collection. You can spend as much money on it. Um, it, it literally doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. You can, you can try and collect things on the cheap or expensive. Now, pretty much all the stuff on the left here is either uh, poured silver, whether that be hand poured silver or uh, machine poured silver. Uh, there is some other stuff mixed in there, and some of this stuff I've even poured myself. I am a silver pour. I like to make my own silver art. This was my first ever silver golf ball I made. Love that thing. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, we got some really cool stuff from different pours in the silver community. Uh, we have my old silver baggins rounds. Look at that. Crazy. One there and one there. So we got both varieties. Um, just a lot of really cool stuff as far as poured silver goes. I do collect poured silver. A lot of these things I have traded for or purchased. Um, you got a little one over here in the corner. Check this out. A little shout out to my buddy over across the pond. What's up, Backyard Bullion? I got one of yours in my collection here. Um, so yeah, it's super fun to collect silver, silver items. Now, all of these are worth at least their weight in silver. So worst case scenario, uh, I would be able to find someone to buy these off of me for their silver weight. Now I haven't weighed these, I don't know how much all of this weighs over here, but it's probably somewhere around, oh, I don't know, 40 or 50 ounces of silver, something like that. And so do I consider that part of my silver stack? Um, absolutely. Uh, it is a silver collection. I never intend on selling it, but at the end of the day, it is silver and there is some weight there. And so there is value behind that. Um, and so I think you can collect silver with the intention of never wanting to sell it, but you could still include that in your overall silver stack. Because when we look at our silver stacks, um, you know, the majority of your silver stack should be somewhat liquid it should be things that you are able to sell you're willing to sell obviously these i would consider to be my perma stack right stuff that i never ever want to sell uh but i would be willing to if you know let's say one of my children has a bunch of medical bills or something like you know at the end of the day they're worth more than anything else in the whole world so of course i would sell all my silver for that um, you know, stuff like that. And so that's why I consider it to be part of my stack, but I like to call it my perma stack. Uh, and then let's talk about some of the stuff over here. So over here, I've got a bunch of different things that I would consider to be collectible for some people, other people, they might just consider it their silver stack. So like I said, you can collect whatever you want. Uh, so up here we have Queen's Beast. 
very popular series. This is the Red Dragon of Wales. A lot of people like these. Very, very beautiful. Uh, you can collect the whole series. Um, that's a cool thing about collecting is you can do series of coins or rounds or whatever, and you can get all of them. So that's really fun and it is fun to complete a series. Um, this one up here, the EC8 series, I have completed. I have all of them. There's eight different coins. This is uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, really, really cool one with the plane there. Um, and so, you know, when you're collecting silver, I think doing series are fun. And you can also do series that never end. Like this one here is the uh, Kookaburra from Perth Mint, obviously. Four Nines Fine Silver ever since last year. This is the 2019 one. They change designs every year, and so those are fun to collect, but you could also consider them your stack, although the premiums are you know, on the higher side for those for sure. You got the Chinese pandas change every year. Somali elephants change every year. Uh, some other stuff that I got here, I got the Star Wars. This is the uh, Clone Trooper. Very, very fun and cool. You can get some really expensive uh, Star Wars stuff as far as collecting. I also do buy all the Disney stuff. My kids are obsessed with Disney. There's the Scrooge McDuck. That's my favorite one of all the Disney. Uh, he's got the big old bag of gold right there, I like to think. Uh, let's see, you can collect uh, vintage silver like this US assay round. These are really cool. A lot of people like these. Um, okay, uh, also got Inglehard bars. This one is really, really cool. Uh, this is in fact the only Inglehard bar that I own myself, but a lot of people like to collect the uh, Inglehard bars and those are considered vintage silver. That's a serial numbered one. Um, we got the America the Beautiful series here. I only have the three. Uh, let's see, what else? I do have this series that I'm collecting. I've made videos on these in the past. It's the Dragon Dollar series, all the restrikes coming out of the Shanghai Mint. Those are very cool, very high premiums on those. And then you also have stuff like the Silver Shield products. I don't personally buy these, uh, but I do have a couple that people have given me. Um, so I think they're pretty sweet. Uh, some of them have some pretty cool designs and I would consider those a collection. Um, so anyway, I'm not gonna go over every single piece, but I just sort of wanna give you some of the different things that you could collect as far as silver. And like I said, at the end of the day, when you're collecting silver, you still have that weight in silver that you could include in your silver stack and it would be something that you could sell at some point. Now, one thing that I think is maybe a little dangerous about only collecting silver and not stacking silver is that if you only collect silver and you have a ton of high premium items, if you ever do go to sell those, you're probably gonna lose a lot of money. So that's why I recommend having a heavy silver stack and a collection on the side. Uh, so me personally, my silver stack is majority made up of American Silver Eagles. These are tubes of 20. I now have 170 American Silver Eagles in my stack. I do also have some junk silver. I need to get more junk silver. I really like it for how cheap it is and how small it is, easy to break up. So I think junk silver is a great thing to stack as far as silver stacking. Um, so, my, you know, my American Silver Eagle goal is to get up to 500 American Silver Eagles, but I do also want to get up to at least $100 face value in junk silver at some point. So this is something that I really, really want to work on as well. And I'll probably pick up some, you know, a little bit here and there as I go along. You know, I mean, American Silver Eagles are a great thing to stack but I think that there are benefits to having that and junk silver so uh, you know other things that people stack are generic bars generic rounds I got a bunch of generic rounds here in the middle some of these are actually vintage and might be more collectible like this one I think I should yeah I definitely showed this one before this is one of my jackpot finds uh, I just bought a bunch of generic silver rounds and this one was in the bunch and it is collectible so I think that's pretty cool. I could probably actually make some money off this if I sold it on eBay or uh, flipped it rather, I, I suppose would be a better term to use. Um, so yeah, so uh, kind of other thoughts I wanted to talk about when it comes to silver stacking versus silver collecting. Silver stacking, you always would sell at the right time and at the right price. That's pretty much where I'm at. I think that every silver stacker would sell if the price was right and the timing was right. So those are two things that you're looking for when you're gonna sell your silver stack. Now some people will say, hey, I'm stacking silver and I never intend to sell. I want to pass it down to my kids. 
um, or you know I want to use it maybe as a retirement so I don't plan on selling for like 40 years plus and that's fine that's okay but I think that if the right situation presented itself uh, if our economy collapsed if all of our fiat currency went to zero and you needed that to live off of you probably would start selling your silver stack um, or if silver became extremely valuable in the future um, then you probably would use that to either buy you know real estate or, or whatever i mean that i would obviously look at doing something like that that's practical if the price did go up dramatically um, and so these are just some thoughts I had on silver stacking. I, I honestly believe that every silver stacker would sell if the price was right and the timing was right. So those are two things. Now, as far as silver collecting, I think that is one thing that you probably could never sell and really never intend to sell. I never intend to sell my silver collection. I do have different collections going on. I, I mentioned some stuff that I'm collecting over here as far as you know, machine made stuff. And then obviously the hand poured stuff, that's my favorite things to collect. But anyway, uh, I do want to know your thoughts on the difference between a silver stack and a silver collection. Uh, where are you? Are you more of a stacker? Are you more of a collector? Or do you do both? I think most people actually do both. Most silver stackers have some sort of a collection. They have something that they like that is silver, uh, that they don't really want to ever sell, that they never intend to sell. Uh, but I do think it's okay to include your silver collections in your overall silver stack when you're talking total weight, etc. So anyway, those are some thoughts I had on the topic. Definitely leave me a comment if you have anything you want to add. Uh, I appreciate all the comments, you know, good or bad. We can have a discussion, uh, which is great as well. So anyway, I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons! out.